Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Park Rovers and we're at Disney's Hilton Head Island Resort and let's check out our two bedroom villa. We are building 24 and we are on the second floor. Room 2421. See the little fish right by the entrance to each room. And this room is right by the pool here. So you can see the pool right through the trees. 2421. So instead of magic bands or a mobile entry right now, you get a key to the world card. So these are kind of vintage, uh, old school cards. All right, we are inside the two bedroom villa and we're in the entryway right now. And on the right side, you have your thermostat as well as your escape instructions. On the back of the door, you have your room occupied sign. And here's a closer look at the thermostat. <laughs> And you do have this nice, nice map right here on the left of Hilton Head Island, kind of vintage map. There's a lot of cool decorative elements like the fishing rods above the pegs and this cool bench with carvings in it, uh, Mickey and Minnie carving. And then on the left of the bench, you have a WD. I'll let you figure out what that stands for. Across from the entryway is your laundry room. So you have your washer and your dryer, as well as your fire extinguisher up above laundry basket, your iron and your ironing board. I think on the left there used to be some mops or there are in some other units. So your mileage may vary here, but I didn't see anything hanging from those hooks. Let's turn left from the entryway into the secondary bedroom that has two queen beds. You can see all of those South Carolina low country theme details throughout the room here and let's go left and there's a closet right here on the left and that has some coat hangers your luggage rack and up above is nothing but sometimes there's extra pillows or blankets there those were actually in the other room you have a coat hanger in this little nook as well as some decorations and if you actually look to the right out of the window you can see the big dipper pool so that's how close this room is and that's really awesome Let's go into the bathroom now. And the bathroom also has a window right there and a cabinet up above the toilet with some extra tissue paper, your hair dryer, of course. On the right, you'll find a pedestal sink with a shelf up above with your Disney soaps. So you have an included lotion as well as a bar there. And here's the shower. So the shower has that clothesline as is standard in most showers here at Disney resorts, as well as the pump. So you have your shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So small but adequate little shower here in the secondary bedroom. Let's go into the main room. So as I mentioned, you have your two queen beds with a nightstand in between. On the right is your TV, as well as your sanitized remotes for your TV and DVD player, wastebasket there. In the drawers, nothing there. You do have your Blu-ray player in the middle between the TV and the drawers. So lots of storage space if that's your thing, if you're staying here for a long time. This is one of the resorts where I think people tend to stay longer just because it's a really nice resort to kick back since it's not near the parks or anything. I love that this room also has a little nook here and a painting and themed lighting. This is a just really well themed resort room. And these rooms are some of the larger rooms. The Hilton Head Island Resort was one of the first three Disney Vacation Club resort rooms. So if you're familiar with Old Key West, the rooms are about that same size. And Vero Beach also has very large rooms from my understanding. So here's the cabinet. You have your phone in the middle as well as your light switches here. I was looking for some place to plug in your phone, but it turns out that there are plugs on either side. There are outlets on either side of the bed. So there's no USB outlets or anything like that in these rooms. Hopefully when they update them, they'll add those in. So here's the view from the guest bedroom. You can actually look out into the marsh. So that's actually pretty awesome. From the same room, you can get a view of the pool as well as a view of the marsh. So that's it. So that's the secondary bedroom where there's a lot more to see. So let's go into the main living area. This resort opened on March 1st, 1996 and was designed by Cooper Robertson and Partners. They actually also designed Celebration Florida. So that's really cool.
And there are photos here on the right side. Three of them appear to form a hidden Mickey. I think these photos are tied to the Royce Edmund backstory where the Edmund family, family owned this island and converted this into rooms for their entire family. So here's the TV and uh, Blu-ray player in between. And let's check out the kitchen. So you do have full-size fridge up above. The cabinets are nothing. So you have some extra storage space if you can reach it. And let's check out the fridge down below. So it, the fridge does have an ice maker. Now, one thing to note is mousekeeping, I believe, turns them off. So you're gonna wanna turn it on if you want some ice during your stay here. So that's what I just did there. And down below is a lot of space for your groceries if you have those delivered or if you have a car and you can make it to the grocery store. Let's check out the cabinets, the top level of the cabinets. You have some bowls and um, in the clear cabinet, you have your coffee mugs, but more uh, bowls for like cereal. And uh, you can put a lot of Joffrey's in these coffee mugs. You do have your coffee maker down below. In this cabinet, you have another large bowl and platter as well as your blender. And up above the microwave, you don't have anything there. So more storage space. Microwave is nice and large, pretty normal. To the right of the microwave, you have uh, your measuring cup as well as your Pyrex and lids. Uh, wine glasses, your pitcher. And the full amenity list is on the back of this cabinet. So you can see everything that should be included or things you can also request. And of course there's South Carolina low country theming on the tile work as well. And here's the enhanced cleaning notice that is familiar if you've stayed at Walt Disney World during COVID times. You have your glasses in this cabinet here. And you can see uh, dogs right on the right with an LL Bean boot. And here's the kitchen nook. Turn on the lights on so you can see that. So that's a really nice area to eat. Let's check out more of the kitchen. So you have a two slice toaster, your Mr. Coffee coffee maker, as well as your Joffrey's. You have two regulars and one decaf there, as well as some creamer and uh, nothing too special up here on the countertop. But down below you have your silverware in that drawer there, as well as your pots and pans right below that. So pretty much everything you need to cook, minus the food and your oils, etc. Your you cooking utensils are right by the stove, so that's in a convenient spot. And down below you have your baking sheet as well as your baking dishes. Let's check out the oven. Pretty normal oven. Uh, you do have your broiler pan down below. In the drawer on the right of the oven, you do have other things you might need like a can opener, a grater, your tongs. And down below that, you have more bowls, uh, your strainer. And let's keep going right below the sink. You have your trash, your uh, drying tray, your drying rack that is, as well as your dishwashing liquid and extra paper towels. I like these, I really like these shelves to the right on that island. It's very convenient for storing dry goods. And let's check out the best part of this resort room, which is the balcony. The balcony actually looks out on the marsh of this room. If you watched our previous room tour, we actually didn't have a marsh view. We had a view that looked out into the uh, courtyard. So this, is a large balcony with two rocking chairs as well as a table, which is also a really nice place to dine at. But this view is just gorgeous. It's a little overcast in this video. Um, you can see that main dock out there where you can actually do catch and release. So you can get um, fishing poles from the recreation area and do some fishing out there. The main area has a fish rug as well as a coffee table slash storage table and you have the artwork up above that is of the pier i mentioned earlier so that's really cool to tie it in and let's go on into the primary bedroom and bathroom so this could be confusing so right on the left is the primary bedroom and then you have your bathroom here on the right in this room you have your pedestal sink your shelf your toilet and your stand up shower. So this room is accessible off the main living area. So if you had someone sleeping out there, they could come in and use this 
bathroom here. You do have the pumps again with the cleaned sticker there. Lots of towels hanging everywhere and uh, hooks even behind the door here. Uh, more towels on the left. And this room does open up into the other area of the bathroom. So you can actually, there is a door there on the right. And uh, this room has a sink as well as your mirror. Down below you have your hair dryer. And below that you have some storage space. And below the sink, uh, more storage space. And over on the left, more storage space. So lots of storage space here in the bathroom. And on the left is a closet, and this is where you have your vacuum and your mop. And up above is where the extra pillows and the extra blankets were hiding. So one of those was filled with just blankets and the other one was just pillows. The jacuzzi tub is another one of my favorite features here at the resort with some artwork up above. And let's head on into the primary bedroom. On the left is a bench and a mirror. And on the right, you have your king size bed as well as your artwork up above. I really love these tree lamps. The only thing that would make them better would be a USB plug, but there are a lot of power outlets everywhere, as I mentioned, so no worries there. Across from the bed is your TV with your just cleaned remote and a lot of drawers and storage space down below. And there's even a drawer under the bench. So, so if you wanna empty your suitcase, you can totally do so in all of these drawers. Now on the side of the TV, there are extra plugs. So if you wanna bring like a fire TV stick or something like that, you can certainly plug it into any of the TVs. And here's your other nightstand here with your tree lamp and your drawers. And if you're looking for outlets, there's actually one right behind the nightstand here, if you can get to it. There's also one right on the left. That's a little more out in the open. And then on the other side of the bed, there's one right against the wall. And you can also go behind the nightstand there. So there's enough uh, power outlets there if you want to charge your phone or plug something in. No problem there. All right, so that's the primary bedroom and bathroom at a two bedroom villa at Disney's Hilton Head Island Resort. And I just have one more thing to show you, which is you also have balcony access right off of the primary bedroom. And this is where our tour ends. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have a question or comment about Disney's Hilton Head Island Resort, just drop that down below in the comments. We've been to Hilton Head Island a few times, so uh, we're becoming experts on this resort and we absolutely love it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.